Hello, this is Daryl Woodruff with Wisdom for Couples. I hope you viewed our other videos on increasing love in the relationship, but how many of you know you can't live on love alone? So today, for Fun Food Friday, we're going to prepare brisket with my famous dry rub, consisting of the black pepper, Atkins season, iodized salt, and laurel seasoning. As you can see here, i got an empty container that I combine them in in order to uh, get a better mixture of my dry rub as I apply it to the brisket. Now, my dry rub will consist of um, this mustard that we use, which, by the way, is tasteless on the brisket to cause my dry rub to stay on better. And mustard has an ingredient that's one of the most popular supplements sold today. It's called turmeric. Uh, and it has a history going back hundreds of years. Recently, scientists have discovered turmeric's remarkable ability to improve mobility, joint mobility, to improve memory, uh, heart healthy, and immune health. So they say, let your food be your medicine. So you uh, can be very generous with the uh, mustard. As you can see here, I'm rubbing it all around the, the sides as well as on top to make sure that uh we can get that seasoning to stick all around it. Uh, make sure that dry rub is able to stick all around that brisket. So you can be very generous with it. Again, it doesn't have any, any taste it or lingering taste that you're going to have after you cook it, cook it. So I take the dry rub. You won't be using all of the dry rub, but I do use enough to make sure that I uh, cover my brisket thoroughly. Now, while we're talking about the dry rub, I use one tablespoon of black pepper, lorry seasoning, and salt to four tablespoons of Atkins seasoning. However, like I said, I only use enough to evenly cover the brisket, as you can see in the, in the video. In other words, when I get through, I have a little bit left over, so don't think you're just going to come out exactly. And it depends on how big your brisket is as well. This is about a 13 pound brisket. And you can see here, I'm lifting up the uh, sides to make sure I get an even coat or even around the sides. You know how when you cut that brisket and you get that little nice taste on the edge, the pop of uh, dry rub, that little pop of seasoning, you want to make sure it's covered very good. Then we'll flip it and we'll do the other side as well. I really love to ensure that I do my uh, fat back side last uh, because this is where all that good fat gonna drip through the meat with those seasonings. Then again, we're being generous with the mustard so that we can ensure that our dry rub will stay on. Now we already pretty much got the, um, the sides, so you don't want to rub your dry rub off, but we're just gonna generously rub it all on top of that fat, that tallow. Now I'll be smoking this brisket with mesquite wood, as I really love the flavor and it really burn and smoke well. And we'll be smoking the brisket until it reaches an internal temperature of 195 degrees Fahrenheit. It should be properly smoked depending on the method that you use of smoking. The time can vary, but it's approximately about an hour to an hour and a half hours per pound of brisket. Again, my brisket uh, is a 13 pound brisket. And also, like I said, it depends on how you smoke it? I got an old school smoker that was created out of a barrel. Uh, and sometimes the temperature outside, I'm not able to control my tempest as much. And uh, today, we're going to be cooking in triple digit heat. So I imagine we're going to be cooking a little bit faster than we uh, normally would. And 
seasoned, and we have it seasoned. Now, you let the brisket rest for about one hour if you're serving right away, and no more than two. Now, when it's time to slice your brisket, always slice it against the grain for tenderness. This is Daryl Woodruff with Woodruff Family Wisdom. Daryl Woodruff with Wisdom for Couples. And remember, you are happy, healthy, wealthy, fit, and forgiven. God bless.